boobs. Oh, hello everybody! Welcome to episode forty-eight. Damn, forty-eight. Been a been a long time coming. It has been a long been. time coming. Yeah. We're, we're not going to mention the hiatus, so we're just going to move yeah. right into the the big the big news: Helldivers Two. Yeah, that is a yeah. game that came out of fucking nowhere, didn't it? Uh, not. I, I wouldn't say it came out of nowhere. It's been highly anticipated since the first one, but its success came out of nowhere. Yeah, I had no idea Helldivers existed until Helldivers 2 came out, so uh, for me... I'm a true I'm a true Super Earth defender, alright? I was playing the first game, and I was fighting for my life out there. Uh, shout out to uh, our boy Freemanova uh, for gifting me the game at one point. So I could hop in and, and goof around and get used to it. It was mm -hmm. the first game is a huge contrast. Not contrast. It's it's a yeah, lot it, different than the second game. It was an isometric twin stick shooter. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. Uh, top down. It was the, the, where fun. the new one is a third just person. a third person over the shoulder. Uh, I think uh, shooter. just it seems shooter. to be um yeah it seems to be a bit of a bit a big craze now you know like what. Four players go into a mission and then uh, shoot their way out after completing objectives. That seems to be the most popular type of game now, if we're the, being honest. The, the genre of uh, four idiots are willing to gain glory or nine dollars. <laughs> yep. I mean, eight. Hey, and the good thing is, most of the games that come out are pretty good. You've you'd got like what? Uh, GTFO, Dark Tide. Uh, Deep uh, Galactic. See, I don't know what happened to GTFO. I don't know anybody who plays it. I wanted to play neither. it so bad, and it, then when I when I ask people if they want to play it, they're always like, uh, you know, it's not it's not really that great. Maybe they like, lean too hard into I, like it, the horror. It came out, and I I think it was it just kind of went a little silent for me. I never really heard of it. And yeah, then all of a sudden, I heard, I heard like I saw like three or four people playing it, and went, "Oh, I wonder what this is." And it was already a dead game. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's it's a bit unfortunate when that happens, but it happens. Yeah, it does. Deep Rock Galactic is one of those games, though, uh, way ahead of its time when it came out. Yeah, um, it was uh -oh. like one of the first. It was. It was. It, it was uh, I don't. I played the hell out of Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, yeah, you had a problem. I had, oh, dude, I had a real problem. Uh, I played it again recently with our boy Slime, uh, but he uh, he didn't want to play very long. He, we played, like, two missions, and then uh, he got off, so I haven't played it since. I think my my, ages, my, my... my issue is that I played, I just, I just uh, specialized in being scout only, so I pretty much just fucked myself there. No, you can still play the other classes, they're still fun. I mean, yeah, I'm just not as good as them. Good at them. Yeah. How how do you get good at things? Well, I get in there. The Go for the deep dive. Get in there. <laughs> All right, that might be what we do uh, at some point. The Kiwi Burgers goes back to the mines. Back oh shit! Mines. And uh, good luck convincing me to play. Them. Yeah, uh, David oh, ain't gonna yeah, play Deep Rock. It, that, nothing against Deep Rock. I fucking love the game. It's just, I it is borderline impossible to convince me to not play a game that I am currently playing at that given time. I was, I was actually really surprised that you downloaded Helldivers 2. Why? I don't know. I just don't see... I don't know. You just don't play a lot of multiplayer games that I play, I guess. I, actually, I did. Just the problem is, I've played them way before I knew you guys. Yeah, that's true. I didn't know you were... Uh, Deep Rock... I got into it after you got bored of it. Hey. I didn't realize that you were a World of Warcraft lore master either. I wouldn't say lore master, but I did put a lot of time into that game, yeah. I just unlocked the uh, the Fell Flame stuff for my Warlock, thanks to Zach. Uh, that was a very interesting quest line. Green Flame yeah, now. All, all of that deep Warlock lore, just so you can make all of your orange flames green. Real. How am I supposed to be evil if all my flame is red? Look, fell magic is mm. green. That's what I wanted to use. 
Um, back onto which, uh, Hell Divers. Hey, let's uh, focus yes. up, let's. Milk. I was going to say one more thing. On, go I was going to say one more thing on the warlock. Thing. On, on the warlock green, green fire, is there's only two spells that really utilize red fire, and that's well, fire. Is it, is it firestorm? Hellstorm. Um, I'd have to look, but it changed I, I, like I, all of them. Just I only a had bunch two. of balls of fire start raining down, and then there's uh, conflagrate, which just sends like a snake of fire. So point is, all of that to get two spells to change color. However, to segue from Raining Fire with Helldivers 2, in a recent update, they added World Hazards. And I gotta tell you about the funniest death I've ever had in this game. <laughs> Do tell? We had... We were doing a uh, ICBM mission. We had oh, just launched the missile... We were running to extraction. We just fought a hell horde of bugs. And a meteor storm happened. And we're running. Nobody's getting hit. It's fine. Suddenly, I just erupt in an explosion. And the explosion didn't tear me apart. The impact with the wall ripped me into pieces. I fell apart like a Lego man. <laughs> so you got pulped. Cause, and what happened was... A meteor just so happened to land on an undetonated hell bomb oh, wow. that happened to be nearby. And luckily the rest of my team was not within radius. That could have been that could have been like the funniest team wipe, to be honest. Just an act of God just takes you all out. Yeah, at the very least we had like probably nine or ten reinforcements left, so it wouldn't have mattered, but it was still just none of us saw it coming. Mm. Mm. Hell bombs are surprisingly easily hidden. Yeah, they're very sneaky. Very I sneaky. fucking love random hell bomb explosions. Yeah, they're they're there. Uh, did you guys I see actually, that I video? I was playing. Oh, I was just. Uh, yeah. And I was playing. Um, I was playing a bit of Hell Divers the other day. Mm. And what happened was, ah. Uh, I was just minding my business, had like a really good spot up for my auto cannon, and then someone respawns and just lands right on top of me. And I just got absolutely smashed. It was very annoying, but you know, it happens. Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird sometimes with the uh, drops, it, it feels like you can control it pretty well. Other times it just keeps dragging you in a direction, you don't really know why. I hate when it does that. It always does it when I'm trying to hit like a bile titan or something. Yeah, I think, and that's, fun. I think uh, it would be funny with the Bile if, um... Titan. That was a video that I saw because it was on the subject of the Hell Bomb. There's a video I saw recently. A guy, uh, it looked like he was on Fenris, uh, kiting a massive swarm of bugs with a big Bile Titan in the middle, and he passes by an undetonated Hell Bomb, gets to a, gets uh, gets to a point where the swarm is right in the middle on top of it. And he shoots it and gets a 53 kill hell bomb detonation. Good Ooh, lord. Damn. Man is it'd the exterminator. If, it'd be funny if um if the weather conditions were enough to, you know, mess with like your deploying drop pod or your supplies or bombs even, so your it entire does. target just gets blown Oh it does? Yeah. Oh it does? Oh shit. Some I didn't of them pay do. attention then. What I kind of want is, I want there to be missions where the weather, or where uh, the navigation system is bad, or it's like a condition, and you all spawn in different, like, spots. Different parts of the map. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, scattered. That would yeah, be a mess, scattered. though. Like, imagine if you, um, you land, and you're just right in the middle of a fucking uh, automaton factory or something. And, like, your, your map doesn't tell you where anyone else is until you, like, blow up a building or something. So, like, you have no way without without talking to each other to know where you guys are. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Um, what is the most useless call-in or drop-in, do you think? Or the most useless, like... <sighs> like, all stratagems? Or are you, are, you, are you thinking about supplies? Supplies. So, like, support weapons? Or turrets and such? Yeah, just any one of those. We could go down the list. Um, um, I think the jetpack yeah, is just... the most useless overall. 
Yeah, that, I've never actually used that thing. Well, no, I have, but it's just Sorry, weird. Yeah, like, it only lasts for like two seconds. For a like, backpack one sec, I'm just slot? Gonna, ah. I'm just pulling up the uh, the the stratagem list now. Uh, we'll Wait, begin so with the top. which one did you say pack, was yeah. not really worth it? The jump pack, the jump pack. Oh, that that it's all utility and it's it. I've seen it used to great effect. Right. You, you got to get creative. I can't say so either. Um, all right, supply pack. I think that's a very useful one. Like very useful, because it gives you a fair amount of uh, supplies, and you can and you don't need the resupply thing all the time. Am I not correct? Sorry, I'm still looking up stratagems list. Oh, I've already got the list up myself. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, honestly, you... what I would say, uh, a useless stratagem, HMG emplacement. Let's um, let's just yeah. go through the list. Let's hold just on, go hold on, the hold on, hold on. I, I do, I do want to agree with with David there. I think if they put like a shield in front of the HMG emplacement, it'd be a lot better. Like just a metal mm. shield, a little bit to protect your head. So that whenever it like it's more useful against bots, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 very um, it's slow to turn around as well. I fear. Yeah, so it where you would think to use it, which would be extermination missions, but enemies spawn all around you, so you can't turn in time. Exactly. So it's just kind of yeah. like, where 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 would I use this? It, like the only thing you would really use it on, is during extraction. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like it either. But we can go down That's the true. list. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, start from the so top. I've already, I already said my piece about the supply pack. The supply uh, pack. Supply yeah, pack. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the one with the back. I said it was. I, I think it was. It's a, it's a life. It can be a lifesaver in, in uh, in certain situations, like when you can't get the resupply thing itself. But you know, you've got that backpack, and you can just give it to people. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty yeah. helpful. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty. pretty it's, I, I, I I say it's only useless if you're playing with complete randoms because nobody pays attention. Mm, that is true. That is true. Because I um, did exactly that. I took it in thinking I'll help out this team. And every single time I see somebody start to run low on stims, ammo, grenades, whatever, I'll run up to them and trying to catch up to them. And I'm maybe I'm like thirty meters away, not super far. And they're already calling down a, su a supply drop. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. um, what was it and the, also, the other good thing about the, res the supply pack is that if you do get a resupply, uh, you can resupply your the supply pack. Refill yeah. it, so it has, it, it, it has unlimited uses. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot more useful for the person with the supply pack to uh, yeah, take charges out of a supply drop because not only does it refill their ammo, grenades, and stims, it also gives them another charge of the supply. Yeah. That's a, that's that's correct. Alright, uh, next one. Are we in agreement? The supply pack is, is great? Yeah. Yeah, useful okay. take. Next one is the AX slash LAS slash 5 guard dog rover. I really like it against bugs. I've never actually used... Um, I've never used it. I, I haven't used uh, the, uh, the other guard dog either. The, the uh, guard dog the is a... The rover is the one with the laser, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of them has a gun, the other one has a... Yeah, the the, the LAS-5 is the, the scythe mounted onto a, a floating thing. And the okay. the AR-23 is a liberator on, on, a, guard, on a floating dog yeah. thing. Uh, um, the rover... I would say the only it, it, they're both basically do the same thing. The only thing I would say is that with the rover, it's a bit more prone to friendly fire. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because the standard guard dog just fires in bursts. Um, so there's downtime between shots if you have to run in front of it. Um, but the rover will just keep the laser trained on somebody until it burns out. Yeah, and it takes a long time to burn out. Yeah. Uh, that's true. What about the shield generator? Uh, I've, I was gonna, uh, must I was have gonna... lifesaver, gr probably one of the greatest stratagems on that list. I yeah. love the generator pack. It is, uh, it like, I'm in my little scout armor, 
running with the generator pack, well, fucking a massive barrage like, of shit like my, from my behind. recent uh, loadout since the last patch has been depending on the mission but for the most part I've been running heavy armor um, uh, specifically the battle master so that, that gives me uh, reinforcement so I get increased accuracy while crouched or prone and 50% uh, less damage from explosions and then I've been taking a shield generator and a laser cannon yeah I've got the Battle Master armor too, it's pretty good. Um, what about the Ballistic Shield? Ass. It's not great. I, you know, whenever I used it, I didn't mind it that much. The only problem is, is you, you have to bring the SMG. Which is fine, yeah, yeah. but the, the Shield Generator pack... Okay, if the Ballistic Shield pack didn't require your backpack slot, it would be a lot, it'd be a lot better. But mm. since it does, it's ass. That sounds about right. If you could just be... It, and even then, if you go, like, flying, like, if you ragdoll, it unequips it and throws it away. Like, it literally just throws your, your ballistic shield in another direction. So you have to go and pick it up again. Yeah, and the thing is, it's very situational. Like, it, it would have more use when you're fighting up against automatons because, you know, they're all about, you know, just but then it, you. But then it doesn't. Because most of their... Um, most of their ammunition, like, other than your standard small drones, like, anything, the, the Scout Striders, the def uh, Devastators, they just go right through the shield, because it only defends against small arms. Anything yeah. heavier, and it goes right through. To be fair, it does, like, explicitly say it's meant against, it's meant to go against small arms. But that's I, I mean. want to know... It's, it's, it, it yeah. is, it, because of that, because it can't defend at all against larger weapons... It's useless against automatons. At mm. any difficulty above, like, three. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay, and now we are on to secondary weapons. Uh, let's start from the top of the machine. The MG-43 machine gun. That, those aren't sec support weapons. Secondary weapons. That's what It's what the wiki says. Come on, secondary support weapons. Who gives a piss? Uh, well, because your secondary is your sidearm. Your secondary. Shut up. Support weapons! Give me. That, that's what it says in-game! I don't know what you're, you're getting I'm, mad at me for. It I don't says in-game, your secondary is your looking. pistol. I'm looking at the, the fandom like website for it, and it, it's, it labels it as uh, support weapons. Well, I, for me, it's saying secondary weapons, so we must be looking at two different wikis. We are, and you're looking at a lesser one. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, anyways, enough, enough. Machine gun. Yes, machine gun. Uh, well, yeah, it's a good starting weapon for goaded early you know, game. people who start. Goaded yeah. early game, yes, that's what I was going to say. Uh, hell, go goaded just against bugs. Like as yeah. long as you have, as long as somebody else on your team is taking, like armor pen, or you have stratagems to deal with heavier uh, enemies. Machine guns, still solid pick. Yeah, it's. I like the machine gun. I think it's real solid. Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, the anti-material rifle. I like it personally. I I like it using it. I mean, I, I'm not the best sniper, but we're trying to fix that, and I've had several good moments where I've just, you know, gone prone on, like, a walkie outcropping, and I've just taken the heads off out of, like, tons of bugs or automatons. Yeah, I've I, never I feel like it. a lot of people overshadow the anti material rifle because the auto cannon exists, mm -hmm. but um, I will say I have had more, just with my use, I've had more luck taking down hulks with an anti material rifle than I have with autocannons. Amen to that. I feel that. Uh, the, the Stalwart? I, I, uh, I, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, solid choice over the machine gun. Like, the yeah, only reason you it... would take... I think the only reason you would take the machine gun over it is, uh, the Stalwart has, um, just I, I, less damage. So it's better for... The Stalwart's better for the horde clearing aspect, getting rid of a bunch of smaller, like, bugs. Yeah, and the good thing is that you don't need to be stationary to reload. You can move while reloading, yeah. which is very helpful. The reload's also, like, half the time. Exactly. Okay, and now the expendable anti-tank. Also I'm pretty not good. too fond of it. I, I, it I, is, I've used it a couple times. It is fantastic until you get a ha until you unlock the recoilless rifle. Yeah. Uh-huh. I agree. The flamethrower? Uh, I used to really like it, 
and then you and then you start to go into like the higher difficulties and you realize it does not hold up Hmm. It, it it is very uh, niche in its use. So far, I would say it's pretty. It's really only useful for bug extermination missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It, no, you. It wouldn't be that useful against bugs, eh? What? what do you no, mean? automatons. I mean, sorry, automatons. My bad. I was going to say, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> stitch, I stitched myself up there. Um, the auto cannon. I like it. Go, Ted, son. It is mm -hmm. good. I like it a lot. Yeah, actually, I was playing a bit of Hell Divers earlier today, and uh, I was behind. You know that. Um, you know that. Um, the the trench that the artillery cannons are in. Mm. Yeah. I was there, and I was crouched, but so I shot it, and it hit the wall in front of me. So I just got insta killed, which was a bit funny. Hmm. Pretty now I've, of me. I've gotten pretty good at uh, taking down uh, hulks with the the. Sorry. The recoil is right. Fuck. Hold on. Take your time. Take my time. Time's up. Fuck. Yep. <laughs> the auto cannon. Dead air, dead air, dead air. I don't know why yeah. I fucking blanked there for a second. I've gotten pretty good at uh, taking on hulks with the auto cannon. I've gotten pretty good with it overall. Just fucking donking their little red noggin with it till they die. It takes three shots. But uh, I think my favorite. Hold on, sorry, we'll go along the list to, to make it make it more accurate. Let's go. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, the Railgun. I hear that got nerfed uh, recently, but and I've, I've never actually used it, so I it, don't have an opinion. I love yeah, the Railgun. So it, it got nerfed. Um, what a lot of, I've seen a lot of people saying it got nerfed into the ground. It's not worth taking anymore. It still does its job. What they did hmm. specifically with the nerf was they reduced its um, armor pen... On the safe mode. So I you have see. if you want to do because what it used to be is that you never had to put it on unsafe because like you would see a Hulk coming and you could have it on safe mode and like two fully charged shots killed it so it was never really an issue. Now they've weakened it so where if you try to use the safe mode it takes a lot more to kill it or similarly heavy enemies. But if you put it on unsafe you can very easily punch right through that. You can one shot a Hulk in the head with the with the with the railgun. Yes, the, on but unsafe the thing mode. is obviously you're gambling because on unsafe mode you can blow yourself up. Yeah, so all you just gotta get good at timing. Unsafe mode, useful like or not? I shouldn't say useful, but needed. Well, the unsafe yeah. mode, the the safe mode could still punch through the walkers in one hit. So I'm I'm still. I've not had that. Me neither. I have. I've never or, actually used it. I was, so I was I, playing I last. I was playing last night with it. I still think it's really great. I still think people should be taking it, <laughs> especially since it frees up a backpack slot. Yeah, like uh, I would say, um, that's fair. It's, I think a uh, fully charged, unsafe shot. I think it takes one of those and maybe a fully charged safe shot to break the armor on a charger's leg. So I mean, it's still worth using. Oh, I've just realized I've, I've skipped the recoilless rifle. That's my bad, folks. I mean, it does the same thing the expendable anti-tank does. It's just... Not it. You can reload it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I used it uh, the other day and had some pretty good success with it, so I'd say it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, uh, okay, now back on track. The spear? Um, hard to use. It's very situational. Uh... But goaded. I've never okay. used it, but I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it. Hmm. It it's because it's very finicky. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's its whole thing is its lock on is very weird. It it's like if your target is obscured to any amount, it just doesn't lock on. It's very annoying. Like I've had on bot missions, which is where I usually take it. Um, they'll drop it in an annihilator tank, and it'll just be rolling across a field in front of me. I'll run up, start aiming, and it'll start locking on, getting really close, and then like a rock will cover up, like maybe like two inches, and then the lock on will start to break, or they'll mm -hmm. go behind like a misty cloud, 
that doesn't obscure it. I can still very easily see the vehicle, but mm. the lock-on brakes. So it's really weird on how it works. Okay. However, yeah. um, obliteration towers, the, the cannon towers uh, for automatons, it can very easily one-shot those if you're within the right range. Buy it. So, like, it, it, it's really good. Also, I think, like, two spear missiles uh, kill a Bile Titan. So. Gotcha. Pretty strong. Um, alright. How about the grenade launcher? I, it's very good at destroying, um, bug nests, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I, I yeah. like the grenade launcher. It's solid. I, I, it, yeah, I'd it, say it it's probably, its, probably its best use is taking it on, like, uh, bug blitz missions destroy it like destroying hatcheries or uh bug holes yeah yeah the last one's the arc thrower right uh no there's a laser cannon still which i i think it's pretty good oh it's so silly i've never used it i wouldn't know it's yeah well i've it is it. it is so useful because as long as you know as long as you pay attention to the charge when you're firing it you never run out of ammo. You never have to reload it. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's one has, of the main selling points about it. It has pretty much infinite range. Huh. Um, yeah. The only thing is that you are taking up a support weapon slot, and it cannot penetrate heavy armor. Yeah. Mm. But medium armor melts right through it. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, and now last, uh, the arc thrower. I, I've been killed by that gun more times than I've actually killed people with it, so I don't like it. I've never used it. I, I've i used it once. I don't like it. I uh, think it's just too... I, it, I, they, I need think, a, they need to buff the damage on it. I would say e- either buff the damage or... Because, um, like, from the preview, right? Because when you look at all these stratagems, they show you, like, a little preview video of somebody using it. Uh, every one of those, it shows that the arc... Uh, goes pretty much in a... Whoop, my mouse died. Um, it goes pretty much in a straight line from, like, one target to the next. I think having it hit, like, your main target and then spreading would be better. Mm-hmm. You know, hitting... Because it, it's, it's meant to be kind of like a shotgun. It's meant to be a horde-clearing thing, but it, it, it doesn't really do that. Yeah. That's all the uh, that's all the support weapons. Uh, I think we're in agreement that the arc four sucks. That's good. And uh, okay, now we're onto the mission stratagems. Uh, reinforce. That's uh, that's uh. We don't useful, need to I guess. discuss the mission reinforcements. Well, yeah, because yeah, the bottom is the hell well, bomb. Yeah, the hell yeah, bombs. But... They're all necessary. They're all they are all useful. They are literally made to be given to you for free because they are mission sensitive. Look, it's it's on the list. Move it's on the list. to I the defensive. Should... Fine, okay, Jesus. Yeah, Christ. like mission mission <laughs> like, ones. It's it's a waste waste of time. All right, guys, right, let's will... sit and make another episode about the resupply drop. <laughs> all right, uh, we already covered the emplacement, didn't we? The HMG. The HMG. Yeah. yeah. Ass. Uh, uh, shield generator relay. Uh, I I don't think it's that great. It's okay. Yeah, I, I feel like it. It's like automata mission like specific, and it's it stays up. It needs to stay up for longer is what it needs to do. Yeah, either because it, it because I, if I remember correctly, it can break. Like there's a damage limit on it, but mm. I think it, if you're gonna have also have it be on a timer, either have it be on a timer and just resist all damage, or give it a health amount and let it stay forever. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I uh, um Tesla Tower. I've never used it, so no opinion. What'd you uh, just say? Uh, the Tesla Tower? Ass. Tesla Tower. Yeah. Yeah, I've Awful. never used it, but it doesn't look good. No, it mm. if you have to be prone to avoid friendly fire, and its range is way farther than you would expect it to be. Hmm. And by yeah. the way, it's not like a oh oop, I zapped you. No, it killed you. <laughs> <laughs> oop, I zapped uh, you. No, it's death. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we'll just um, put the next two in the same category because they're both mines. Uh, I've been killed by more mines than I've actually killed with them again, so I don't like them. 
I uh, want to use them, but I just never bring them. They look like they'd be cool. I just feel like by the time I think about using it, it's already too late. Yeah, it's it's. I guess it's mostly to be used when you're like you know when you've completed the mission and you're on your way to extraction. It could yeah, cover it's an a way escape, to defend I guess. extraction or uh, on extermination yeah. missions because I like I tend to take it on terminated exterminations. Because and like as soon as we spawn in, I'll throw that down in a direction. And then start calling in my support weapons and stuff, because eventually they're gonna show up and they're gonna walk through it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Right. The machine gun sentry. Good. Yeah. Good. I yep. mean, immediately replaceable by the Gatling sentry. Yeah, yeah. I, I use the Gatling sentry all the time. It's very good. I think Mortar. that. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, say that. Sorry. Go on. I was gonna say the machine gun sentry. It. It's great. Because if we just had the Gatling Sentry, um, then de defense missions would be a little less cool. Because having all machine gun sentries and Gatling Sentries look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go on. Alright, so... <clears throat> ah, mortar? Mortar? How do you say it? Woe uh, be the team that brings the mortar turret. Yeah, the uh, team killing machine. That's an act. It's a nightmare. The there's only one place safe from it, and that is standing directly next to it. <laughs> that sounds about right. Because I'm pretty sure its firing arc does not allow it to fire within a certain distance of itself. <laughs> I, I believe that. There was a mission where it was, it was me, Haydog, Crush, and Tau, and we all brought mortar turrets. It was awful. Sounds like a great time, personally. It looks cool. It sounds cool, but dying to it's frustrating. Oh, I can imagine. I um, auto cannon. I awesome. Think it's pretty decent. The, yep. the goat. It's good. Of course. Uh, like it. Rocket sentry. Uh, I haven't used it. Haven't, I haven't used it. I've seen it used, and I will say, it's very good. But it needs to be placed smartly, because like oh, yeah, if you, if you, if you place it on the same level as your teammates, you will die to it. You have to place it like above, so that way it's targeting enemies away from you. Okay. That sounds about right. Um. Oh yep. Uh. EMS mortar. That that's EMP stuff in it. Yeah. It's I it's, it's, it's stuns it. enemies. So yeah, I think useful, that's the actually. benefit. I love it just because it's a mortar that doesn't kill my teammates. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I like it. It's fun. Very good. All right, and now we are on to the offensive stratagems. Starting off with the orbital. The orbital Gatling barrage. I used it once. It wasn't too bad. It's okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of those things, like, there's nothing bad about it, it's just there's better. Yeah. Uh, the Airburst Strike, I haven't used it either. It's another okay. Uh, the 120mm HE Barrage. Um, you know, I've never really the, used it. It's it's the same thing, is there, it, the next one I assume is the 380, and it's literally just an upgrade. Uh, yep. Um, actually, I've got the, um, the wiki page for that on now, and it's literally just one sentence of bad grammar and misspellings. The Orbital 380mm barrage, he spells it as Barag, is thousands if not millions of teeny little airstrikes. Which makes sense, like, that's a good description. Yeah, it, it's, it's just an upgrade um, of the 120. With the recent patch, they did upgrade it to the groupings tighter. So there's a, if you pay attention to your team, uh, it's much easier to stay out of its range. Ah, good, good. Uh, the barrage is still um, very random on where it drops its payload, so it's uh, it's better to, for example, like on automata missions where there's they're really defensive and maybe there's like an objective inside that you have to get to. It's really good to soften them up before you go in, but it's not going to get anything done for you. A hundred percent. Uh, the walking barrage. It's uh, good. A safer version it's, of the other yeah, barrages. Safer. <laughs> okay. Uh, the orbital laser. Goat. 
Yep. Toss, toss that on a base. Cannon strike. I was gonna say yeah. Toss toss the laser on a base, ruins it. Rail cannon strike, goaded. Absolute must take yeah. if you're uh, doing uh, goaded. If you're doing bug missions at high tiers, because it, it's basically every rail cannon shot is a dead charger, and with a little extra firepower, like maybe a recoilless rifle or something, uh, one rail cannon shot and a rocket, dead bile titan. Very good. Uh, the orbital precision strike. I, Ass. I like it. It's very. Ass! Oh, okay. It's. Sorry. I, I use it for, like, kill, for taking out um, automaton factories or. Uh, or some of some bug places. <laughs> I I got <laughs> sorry for sorry for being so outbursted with that. Uh, it <laughs> if your target's moving, you just wasted a fucking orbital. It's that is true. It, if you're smart, you can hit them. However, if you happen to be on a mission that has complex stratagem plotting, where it doubles the time it takes to land, yeah, you're not hitting fucking shit with that. You are not. They always move. <laughs> yeah, you, there's like um, the orbit because I think the base call in time is it's like four or five seconds. It's like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. You could, uh, you could get something that sits still long enough for that. But if it doubles and you're going to the eight or ten second range, nah. Yeah, it's fucked. Uh, the orbital gas strike. I like it. It's been, it's helped me out a few times. I uh, I kind of want to use it, but I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I'm just not... I'm not a very big orbital guy. If I bring orbitals, it's always the the rail cannon and laser. So I don't really use much else. Hmm. This man is Sorry. disabled by a single anti-air emplacement. Damn, son. Uh, the orbital <laughs> EMS strike? Uh, waste of an orbital. Yeah. All right. Smoke strike? Just bring a smoke grenade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now last but not least, we have the eagle. Uh, I use a strafing one. No, is it, it's either the strafing one or the airstrike. I use that Air, a lot. Airstrike is the explosive one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that that is a uh, staple. I, I I don't think I've able... gone into a single mission where any like any one person is missing it. That sounds about right. I used to bring the 500 kilogram bomb. Um, it's still good. I just, I just don't bring a lot of eagles. I mainly use it. It's usually two orbitals, one backpack, one support weapon. Or you just said you're not an orbital person. Well, I mean, of of the of the whole list here, I I only use two of the orbitals. Man, you gotta diversify. Well, some oh. Get some loadouts set up for different mission types. Because, like, if you're doing a... Say you're doing, like, a, a, a bot mission. Where you gotta destroy their, um... Their air bases. It, it, you, you want, like, eagle strikes for that. Because you want something that you can call in quick, blow it up, get out. My laser drops pretty fast. Yeah, it mm. starts quickly, but it takes forever to destroy a base. Um, cluster bombs. Uh, doesn't useful, <laughs> but uh, definitely you're gonna want to make sure that you are coordinating with the team on that because cluster bombs oh, yeah. easily kill your team. Also, they don't puncture pretty much any type of armor. That's what I was gonna say. Is they don't they don't do armor. So, if you it's not useful to take against aut automata, but against bugs, fantastic. I got like a thirty something kill with one of those. It was hilarious. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, napalm, um, very good if you want to uh, reenact Vietnam on Malevolent Creek. It it's uh <laughs> it's it's useful if you are dealing with. Uh, large groups of enemies that are and you're defending a position because that's where the fire comes in that helps it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Have you guys been... Were you guys, did you guys ever get a chance to play on Mavalon Creek, by the way? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, same, same. Yeah, I, I'm glad you're uh, fascinated with, with it. We're what gonna get it back. 
Some folks yeah, we're gonna get a bag, of course. Yeah, we're gonna get a bag. Do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a uh, free bird going through my head with the fucking <laughs> mech suits. All right, what's next? Um, smoke strike. Uh, uh, smoke you know, grenade, I guess. I th think I would one, rather I, that one. I, I would say the eagle smoke strike is okay. It if you are going against bots, because unlike a smoke grenade, it covers a much larger area, so that's useful for when they have those big gun emplacements on bases. Oh yeah. Or you have a large horde of like devastators chasing you. Um, mm. But the reason I say it's better than the orbital is because it ta it's quicker to get to launch, and. Uh, it's an eagle. You can resupply those really quickly. Of course. Yeah, I like it better. Hmm. Um, what's the next one? Uh, the 110 millimeter rocket pods. I have not used that, so no opinion. Sorry. I haven't. Uh, I haven't used them, so I don't have any experience on what they do. In theory, they sound okay. I think you get three of them per res uh, bef per eagle resupply. And they specifically, when you throw them down, they target the largest thing in range. Sounds about right. And last but not least, the Eagle 500 kilogram bomb. Yeah! It, it just, it, if everything's fun about it. If, if you get it to land on the right spot, you can wipe out quite a bit. It, it one-shots nearly every enemy type. Um... And it just has the fun factor of being really big boom. Of course. <laughs> That's the important thing, isn't it? It is awesome. It really is. And that is the list. Holy shit, we actually did something like that. We actually You made a forgot list. the XO forty five Patriot Exosuit. It's Oh yeah, that's, that's the thing now. It's not been added to the necessary question. It is dog water i am biased the first one i called in a missile blew up in the rocket pod i'm upset <laughs> <laughs> how'd you fuck up on that, that i don't know the only thing i could think of is i was turning and because you know how your aim you have that little lag circle that tells you where you're actually shooting i think somehow yeah. this rigid rocket pod that can only fire the rocket straight ahead of where it's pointing, somehow launched at a 30 degree angle out of the barrel into another rocket. <laughs> that is... interesting. I, I... I'm only biased for it because I fucking think it's silly. Oh, but no, I love my it. Exper my experiences with it have been pretty bad. Because I... I've, I, I, I the first time I used it, it was... I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I just sort of walked around. I expended my ammunition on a bunch of fucking dudes, but I feel like... Nah, it was it was a little bit fun. The second time is where I had the problem, because I dropped in, or I dropped it in, and as soon as I got in, it blew up, and I died with it. And I almost slammed my keyboard. I was so pissed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I... I will say, the... The actual problems I have with it at the moment is it needs better damage indication. Because right now, it'll just start to smoke. And then, at some point, uh, you because it, it, do, it doesn't really tell you how close you are to being destroyed. It just starts smoking at some point. I would say maybe... Yeah. I would ex I would expect probably around half half of its damage... But there's no way to tell that, oh, it's about to explode, you need to get out. There's no warning sound, nothing. Yeah. Uh, and the funniest um, part that I, I learned... Was... funniest part I, I learned is if it. the mech gets destroyed, you don't die in it. Your character actually starts to get out on their own. But because the mech is falling over, the physics kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that would do it. I mean, uh, for me personally, I, I've had pretty solid experiences with the mech. My only issue is that the ammo, there's no like reloading the ammo or anything, and it usually runs out way too quickly. I feel Which like reloading, annoys. reloading ammo on that thing would be a little overpowered. Cause, yeah, cause I can see you, what you mean. You can call in, what, with the, if you have the actual stratagem and not use the free one they're giving, I think you get two call-ins per mission. I think so. Um, by the way, I'm just going to, um, I'm just posting this thing I saw on TikTok earlier. 
uh, of that, I think some leaking some new vehicles that are coming out soon. But I uh, don't take my word as fact. Yeah, that's there, just what I saw. But it looks legit. They, they, they are, there are going to be new vehicles, even uh, new yeah. variants of the Walker. Yeah, I... yeah, as far there's the Emancipator. Well, if you see the video I just posted, uh, there's like four, four um, videos I think they mentioned. Except for the Patriot Mech is there too, as a given. Yeah, so far from others I've heard is the the one they're most excited for is the Obsidian uh, version of the Patriot Mech, which is equipped with. I don't know the way they described it. I don't know if it means that there's two auto cannons, like one on each arm, or if it's two it, twin linked auto cannons. So it's like two twin linked ones. Okay, so f four auto cannons firing at the same time sounds hilarious. Bit of if they include all the mechs and vehicles they added from the first game, I'll be happy. I, I really want that scout vehicle. I really want that scout vehicle because fitting four people in a really fast moving car would do tremendous wonders for time management in Helldivers. And and just, you know, going on a drive but, with the boys? But you know what they're going to do if they, when they do add something like that? Bigger maps. Of course. That'd still be Big cool. Enemies. Um, also, I saw um, on Twitter there were some leaks of what appear to be Illuminates. Uh, they, already, yes. they already teased the Illuminates in-game. So this yeah, leak course, is just like, confirmation. Yeah, yeah, but he so posted like images that there could be, or what? What? Could no, be it was here. you in game, like while playing, you could see signs of the Illuminate. No, I, I mean sure. like these are the models. Oh, oh, yeah, it, like oh, here. for that post, yeah, yeah. Um, they look pretty. They look, they look cool. Look fucking freaky. Now, my John when Cena I... is naked at the Oscars. I'm sorry to just cut the. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just on Twitter right now, and the first thing I see is John Cena is at the Oscars and he's naked. That's cool. Is everyone... Don't care. That... The Oscars are happening right now? Don't care. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Israel is mounting an attack on Wafar as well, but we will ignore that. We don't care about global politics. We're here for Helldivers. Dun 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 dun. We're Speaking here for of Super global Earth, politics. Which I'm here kind of sucks Super that Earth. we missed that reality, because that's supposed to happen in 2016, but... Oh, yeah, that image, that image. He is such a fucking weird V-line. Got like a little bowl at the bottom. Hmm. Why is that where your eyes went? Yeah, Wait. interesting uh, Interesting thing you noticed, Logan. I, I've i seen him shirtless billions of times. What I don't see so I. is his hips. Those hips don't lie, girl. That's fucking weird. St I'm, I'm staring into the abyss and it's staring back. It's awakening if, things in him. I don't know if YouTube allows me to show that. I'll probably... Like yeah, just out. blow it out. Yeah, I'm not. Out. I'm not blowing that out. The viewers will see. The viewers will know. Mm -hmm. At least he's wearing a watch. That's. Yeah, that's, it's, it's weird. You know what? It's just you like know what? The article. The article lied. He's not naked. Well, yeah, I mean, unless he's wearing like you know, what? he's got a like watch. A, I, I choose. Unless he's wearing like he's, a red solo <laughs> cup in front. He, he's got a watch on. <laughs> no, not naked. Yeah, he's got a watch. Oh, yeah, 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 that's fun. true. Yeah, he, he does have a watch on. He's not naked. Clickbait. You know what? And it, it also helps you can't he, see he, him. He so still has we, hair on his head, right? Assume. Not naked. <laughs> Imagine him being bald in this moment. That'd walks be scary. In. Imagine he just he walks in like a... Oh, shit. Oh, what was it? Uh, Gore the God Killer. <laughs> Christian Bale. You're on my fucking set. Looks like looks like if Baron Harkonnen actually went to the gym. <laughs> looks like they stuck uh, like jelly beans in his shoulders. What right up against that the, mean? His, his his traps. That is weird. His traps oh. look like beans. Mm, I suppose. He also has beans on his biceps. He's a strong guy. Man's full of beans. Oh wait, well that that segue is out the way now. That's good. Um. Yeah. I think we're wrapping up. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this episode's gone over time. It's, we, are it's, we are actually 50 minutes into it now, Yeah, I we're think. 50 minutes. Yeah. I mean, to be oh, fair, we've fun. been gone for a while. Yeah, yeah we, we, this is our um, this is our gift to the uh, our fans. Uh, yeah, all have, five uh, of you. Yeah. <laughs> huh. 
All right, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. No. Oh, okay.